Hey guys, welcome back to the Ultimate Sports Challenge with me, Rob Richards, filmed exclusively for Muscle and Fitness UK. Over the past few months, I've been traveling around California and trying my hand at some of the toughest sports on the planet to see if I've got the skills and strength to perform at their level. Today, I've come to Alto Los Angeles for the Academy of Speed to meet with John, a former top level sprinter who's gonna be putting me through my paces to see if I've got what it takes to perform at his level. Follow me inside. Let's go meet John. John? Yeah. John, hi, Rob. Hey, uh, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet Thank you, you for uh, inviting me down. Wow, this is literally a world inside. Yeah, it is. It's, um, it's the Academy of Speed. It is the only uh, indoor, true indoor track in, in California. Yeah, you're not and kidding. So, what, what, uh, what size track do we have here? Uh, well, it's a 150 meter curve, or, okay. uh, oval with a 60 meter three lane uh, straight away. So John, what kind of athletes do you train here and the kind of routine that you would put them through? Okay, uh, well we train little kids all the way up to, to masters athletes. So our youngest is 10 all the way up to 50 years old. So we train athletes for speed and power development from volleyball, basketball, baseball, football, uh, to track athletes also. So we have some of the youngest, fastest uh, kids in the nation training here. I love them. Uh, for the sprints all the way up to, to Olympic champions. We, we can really get them in at a young age and get yes. them performing without having to do all the weight training. No, absolutely. Uh, That's great. Our, our philosophy is if you can walk, you can train. And so, you know, for the little kids, like we take that. them through, you know, a good deal of uh, calisthenic uh, variants, um, general strength, and actually start to try to teach them how to move correctly without even touching the weights. Great. Um, we do some strength development, but mostly we, we deal with, with power and it doesn't have to come from the weight room. Well, speaking of power and yeah. the weights, yeah. uh, you invited me down because Absolutely. you had a challenge for me. That's right. And my background in fitness, which is pretty much around the weights, that gym set up, uh -huh. you're going to have me perform on the track. So right. tell me more about the, uh, the exercise workout and the routine that you have set up for me today. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take you through a full, true uh, sprint workout. Okay, so we're going to prepare you to actually run out of the blocks and teach you how to go through the drive phase into a position to actually try to sprint. We're going to have you run against one of our athletes, a uh, guy by the name of Michael Leonetti. Uh, he's sitting right over there. Okay. <laughs> Just, All right. so, <laughs> just chilling out, resting there, looking yeah. at me going, no problem there. Yeah. So, okay, I'll, I'll so he's give you a, a race. He's a, he's a, he's a sprinter, <laughs> and um, kind of think, we're thinking about putting him into the decathlete because there's not really a whole lot that he can't it's do. It's like he can move some weight, too, yeah, so it's going to be a real challenge for me. General strength, and he puts a lot of power. He's six foot two and 215 pounds, but he can actually move. Com so it's going to be very... to my five foot ten exactly. and 180 pounds. Okay. So we're going to take it through okay. jumping. We're going to take it through the warm-up, a whole dynamic warm-up. We're going to do some, some, uh, some plyometrics, good deal of drills, and actually put you in some spikes, put you in the blocks, and see what you can do. Awesome. Right. Well, we came with a challenge, and that's to be tested on my power, that's right. my speed, my endurance, my agility, mm -hmm. and my strength. And by the sounds of it, we're going to be testing all five of those areas. With and the and you can get that in actually one run. Okay. Power, agility, um, speed, uh, coordination, all that has to be incorporated in order to It's a very to technical well. sport. It's extremely technical. Okay, well, I'm excited to run, so I'm gonna go get my uh, get my shorts and my uh, trainers on. I'll meet okay. back out here in five and uh, we'll get to it. Okay, we're right here. Okay, see, see, you, see you guys here. All right, it's my warm up done. Huh? It's our, uh, First exercise then. All right, so the first thing, real simple, it's gonna jog a lot. So, you're gonna follow Leo. Not too fast. Oh, Leo. God, you're a big man. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and de deceptively fast. saying about frequency of training, yeah. you say you do uh, speed work three times a week. Well, what about uh, the rest of the week? What, what kind of workouts, exercises do you do in between that speed work training? Well, we do like regeneration and recovery work. Um, for somebody like Leo, um, we generally don't go over 200 meters. In the gym, if we were doing like walking dumbbell, absolutely, lunges, bars, we can step with that. Absolutely, yeah. Really hit that glute. Oh, shit. Yes, yes. absolutely. I like. That. Okay. Oh, 
Well, John, looking at Leo do his uh, you know, self my facial release, mm -hmm. how important is supplementation into the diet for a sprinter? Uh, it's very important. Uh, at the end of the day, the most important thing is to eat correctly. Leo's the type of athlete Absolutely, who, yeah. diet who does Diet comes before any form of exactly. supplementation, I believe. Um, but I believe in having athletes take a multivitamin, especially if their diet's not all the way, you know, correct. Right. Um, definitely protein. Um, I like uh, that. Whey protein, yeah. Uh, before practice, after practice, eight, up to three times a day before you go to bed, um, I think it's very important. Lots of water. Lots and lots of water. Now, do you have like a ratio for a person's weight as opposed to how much water they need to take in? Because I know in the whole fitness world when I was competing, yeah. it was like two ounces per kilo of body weight. So is that going to be similar for an athlete? I guess nah, you know, if they're outside, they need more water. Yeah, you know, your, your body lets you know, I think. When you're thirsty, with us, with sprinters, when you're thirsty, a lot of times it's, it's too late. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's just a constant drinking of water. As long just as your urine is water. clear, <laughs> we're pretty much clear good to go. Okay, yeah, unless you're going to hold out a beer, all right? Because you're going to get, but we don't want yeah. that, you know? Um, Got to so be yeah. cure for an athlete. Exactly, yeah, yeah exactly. So um, constant water, like uh, Leo will drink probably up to more than a gallon a day. Okay. And back when, when I ran, it was probably about the same amount, and but I was a, a, a good deal smaller than him. I, I could see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, speaking of which, I'm going to go get hydrated, take, take a couple of sips, and then I'll be back over here, and uh, I guess I'll find out what's next. All right. Okay. All right. So, as John said, just sipping on water in here for about an hour, so I'll probably get through at least a liter of water just sipping on it throughout the entire routine. Anyway, that's the, uh, the warm-up done. Now it's time to move over and, uh, I guess, start on the actual dynamics of sprinting and learn about the technique and um, I'm excited I used to like running back in back in school and going into college but then the gym took over and didn't really get out onto the track at all so this is uh, this is a challenge for me as well as the actual muscle and fitness challenge to see how fast I can actually run carrying I guess a little bit more weight than the average Joe so let's go uh, check in with John and see what's next yeah these this, are, this is real hype for Huddle. When you see Lu Zhang and Dairon, uh Robles and all those well, guys. For me it was Roger Black, you know, watching back I, in. Roger Black, okay. You know? This is what he had to. Really? Yeah, and it's fast. So this is where you get the, uh, yeah. do, you, do, do you hurdle? I used to, and yes, I, I hurdled this. That's and actually, like, that's like a lot of abs for me. Out. Okay, like then, very good. Then we're going to do 10 and switch up. So. You really can't be too stiff when you're uh, no. on the track. If, if you're real stiff, you're gonna run slow. Uh, if the coach is smart, he'll stop you from running. Yeah. I'm neat. This is where I start to see some of those uh, warm-up techniques cross over from different sports. Absolutely. You remember from the MMA video back in Las Vegas, we were doing the, uh, that, was a, that was a great hamstring yeah. exercise. So I'm definitely going to incorporate these next to my train legs, even back. You know, just walking up and down the gym or outside in the car park doing these. Yeah. And then I can get in there and, and really feel like I'm actually activating. Oh. No, that's, that's really good. So have you done like these drills before? Or this, before? Uh, this is completely new to me. I've okay. not done anything like this. So for someone who's never come in and actually done an age dip and to be able to do it, that's that's actually really good. I mean, you have some good oh, coordination. It's, uh, these drills are, are simple, but they're hard. Okay, just well, from the coordination. You know, John, that, that's really the basis of this show, The Ultimate Sports Challenge, yeah. just to see if, I guess, regular weight training, you know, yeah. sets, body parts, split routines, mm -hmm. if somebody who is proficient in that yeah. can actually cross over into a magnitude of different sports yeah. and use those skills that we get in the gym, you know, mm -hmm. speed, power, control, agility, coordination. Yeah. But really, this just expands like the coordination thing that we're talking about. Yeah. At most, it might be like lunging with a barbell mm -hmm. and having to, you know, control your body. But out here, we've got to. Oh yeah. You have it's to that much faster and that much more explosive. But I'm impressed because uh, you're you're actually, you know, we'll see how it goes a little more forward. You're, you're just you're, building up the, no, big, uh, the big race when you're like. You're, <laughs> I think you were good at the A skips. Yep. You were good at the skip, so that's. But it's a start. Come on. All right. So from here, we go into some box jump. Jumping up and acceleration really go hand in hand. Okay. And that's kind of what we're working on today. How tall is that? Um, we're going to be up to my shoulder height by this. Yeah, he'll do 18, 18 uh, 
pads here, and I think that's 56? 55 and a half. 55 and a half, but that's not what, that's just straight up. Okay. And so, um, it, it, it looks relatively high, but you know, you, you, you can do it easily, and you're gonna do it today. What we wanna do is start in this position here, nice little wide base, okay? Hands here, we're gonna drop down, use the arms, okay, and jump up. And you notice the arm action, causes the hips to put exactly push up yeah, and that's sports. very important so we're here and we're going to jump up okay and land with our chest up okay and try to be relatively quiet even though mine was loud okay you want to show what i'm talking about leo oh. and you said people can't fly yeah you gotta float it in there big arms okay Oh, we can jump. Yeah, can jump. Your, your, your feet and hips are way higher than the box itself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, this is, I've never jumped higher than this. I've never even, never even tried it. So this really is, this is first time. I might fail, I might make it, but. Well, just to give you some confidence, um, your hips and feet were well above the box when you landed. Okay, so this is, if anything, it's mental. You can easily jump on that. You can jump. <laughs> oh, man, okay, I'm hot. Feeling You're going good. way up. Feeling good. Okay, we, we need some kind of ratio here because what, what are you, 6'2? 6'3. 6'3. Yes. Okay. So while I'm practicing this, you, can, you guys can do the conversion. You've got five inches nearly on me. Five inches. It's a foot to some people. It, 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 it is. <laughs> Big arms. You're, you're way above. Yeah, you're well above that. Okay. We're running out of mats. I know, there's some mats. I don't know about that one, but... Uh, get, Leo, jump one more time. I want to I watch your technique and see how your, okay. your arms come up. Is this too big for you? Do you want to...? Uh, no, I want to. <laughs> <laughs> I might fail at it. This is my current best. Yeah, this is 55 inches, so... This is a challenge on the board in itself. Okay, let's see what you got. Yesterday. Okay, so is this the highest one for me so far? Yes. Yeah, oh, definitely. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Easily. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now, I don't know how technique is. It's just, for me, no, it's now. You know what? I, I just want to get up. Your landing is good because I can't hear. Okay, nice. so you're landing nice and smooth. You know, why don't we do one more jump? Yeah, let's and do then one we're going to move on. Okay. All right. You know, the, you know, the scale, I, th I think you got it. It's no yeah. bad for I, I, think, I think you got it. You got it. It's no bad for my second no, no, that's really good. Okay, well, what are we doing now? Are we okay. running now? Are we sprinting? You know Because I'm amped up, I want to sprint. All right, so from here, we're going to go into some bounding. bounding. Okay. okay, nothing crazy, but it helps with teaching the body to apply force to the ground. And then we're simply pushing. off from that hill. You walk into it and... Good. Actually. All right. It's nearly race time. All right, now we have some spikes for you to put on. Okay. It's brand new, just for you. Oh. All right. Look at so those. They're you... my colors too. That's right. Oh, and we knew. Right. Red and white. Now, how, how much of a difference do spikes make? You know, if um, we were to run this, is it purely about traction, about getting you know, that power down? Yes, yep. yes. Spikes make it one, they're light. Even the heaviest spike is gonna be relatively light. Uh, to the traction uh, for coming out of the blocks and actually applying force into the ground without falling and busting your head open. All right. Every so often you'll see some track programs where they have kids coming out of the blocks in their regular shoes, like your ASICs there, and you'll see them slip. So, you know, we're gonna test the seat. You know, if you what leg you're actually going. Okay, how do we, okay. How do we test so, that stand up, sir? Okay, so your left foot came forward first, so your well, actually, or right foot came forward first. Come on, John, I thought we were getting on. You know, you're pushing all right, over I'm, the place. I'm, I'm sorry. All right. 
you good. You want to push yourself. Now allow this knee to touch the ground. Okay, exactly. Let it touch the ground. Now you want to take your fingers because you're kind of here. Put them close to the line. Okay. And be right there. Okay. Actually, I'm pretty pretty push off from okay. there. Put your head down. Okay. This knee drops a little bit. All right. Back is nice and flat. Now from here, all I want you to do is lift your butt up. Now? Yep. Like, lift. and come nope, up? Don't, don't, you have to just lift your butt. Okay, a little higher. Now you're in a star position. Put your head down some, okay? And come out, forward. And kind of lock that, like in an L formation. Okay. And the arms are pumping back because when this hand hammers, this hip extends. It's all like thinking about where the arms go. Good, Ben. This is it guys, this is the race. Everything that we've been putting to practice today and everything that I've done in the gym up until now is going to uh, see, I guess, whether I can make it as a, uh, well at least be compared to a professional runner here. So, I don't know what's gonna happen. John, over to you. Okay, so we're gonna go 50 meters. Okay, please listen to him. I'm gonna give you a command of, we're gonna take your mark, set, and then I'm simply gonna yell, go. Runners, take your mark. technical issues, but he's wired for explosiveness and speed. You're one big fast man. <laughs> John, listen, thank hey, you for yeah, inviting me down. Before I ask yeah. how I did yeah. in the, the whole challenge, mm -hmm. realistically, you know, my sprint, my run, mm -hmm. forgetting whether I've done this before or not, you know, how was my start? How was my sprint, my technique? How was my finish? You know, I'd like to say I could forget everything that you've done before, but I can't, okay? Sprinting is a skill, okay? And so, talent-wise, okay, I think you do have some talent, okay? You are explosive. <laughs> it's good to uh, you're, you're, I think you're wired for explosive and quick movements. Now, um, to come in day one and actually be able to, to run fast and one, not hurt yourself, it speaks well. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of all in one pace. Yeah, good. you know, and, and that's good. Um, <laughs> Could you be a world-class sprinter? There's no way of telling. Could you be faster? Absolutely. And if you learned, if you came and learned how to actually sprint, the skill of sprinting, I think you could actually be relatively fast. Well, I gotta say, this, yeah. is, this is definitely my favorite ultimate sports challenge, and that's because it's something right. that I had interest in. Yeah. You know, way from back school, and I did like a 400 meter, and I thought, uh, <sighs> if only I was faster. Yeah. So on that note, mm -hmm. you know, I came here with a challenge, yeah. and we had five areas of like total fitness that I would like you to mark me on and Leo. Okay. You know, 10 being top, one being eh, pretty bad. Okay. So let's start off with uh, start off with speed. You know, okay. how, is, how is my speed? I can mark out oh, 10, I, one you know, to 10. Average human, 10. Okay, uh, sprint, sprint wise, five. Okay, maybe six. Uh, potential wise, it's very high. You know, I'd probably go eight. Okay, and I think so that you could actually be fat. Can we put that down as an eight for today? As hey, a, I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you, how no, about? Bearing in mind everything. Everything, eight. Okay, okay. 7.98. 7. <laughs> 7 point, we're, we're gonna round that off eight. That's yeah, all right, yeah. So we started off with speed. Yeah. Let's go into strength. You know, we did some box jumps. I know that's a different area, but we ten. did a lot of a. Uh, yeah. 10. Ten. 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 That's ten. where the fitness, ten. my ten. fitness comes in. So Just to eight be able ten. to make it through the dynamic warm up without saying, okay, I'm done. Uh, very good. You know. didn't mention like a burn or anything and even when I do that stuff and I've been doing it for like three four months now I still feel it when I do it and the fact that you came here day one never doing those movements before and got through it No complaints. I didn't hear you go. Oh, no, forget this. Get okay, so we've got speed. We've got strength Let's have a look at uh, I've said stamina endurance before let's group that into one thing okay. and uh, you know I guess for sprinting look at more about stamina and endurance. So, yeah, you know, John break me on stamina. Well, okay. How do you feel right now? 
definitely haven't recovered. I mean, I can okay. talk at normal rate. Right. My recovery is very good, I think. You're in good shape. I think that it's probably going to be in the 9 to 10 range. Okay. Which is, which is, which is, which is very important to be able to do work at speed over nine, and over. 9 or 10. Uh, uh, let's let's go 9. Yeah, let's go 10. 10. 10. Let's he go says 10. 10. Ten, ten. Yeah. Now, so we've got uh, speed, we've got strength, we've got some, we've got some stamina in there. Two other areas. Let's first have a look at what I call it agility. You might have a different term for coordination. it. Coordination. Coordination. Yeah. You know, that's agility, coordination. Ten. Ten for and that. I say this because you came in and you did A skips relatively well. We didn't have to start at the very beginning at A marches or A walks. You went right into A skips. They're not perfect, um, but they're good. And give a, a couple of weeks, I think that you would be able to master that. Whereas myself, it took like a year before I could actually do them awesome. correctly. Okay. I'm feeling so, good about this. Um, and the AC skips even shows that you're very coordinated. Okay. Being able to jump on the box without making noise, very coordinated. Okay. okay. That's, that's so a, that's a 10. It's a good thing. Great. Yeah. Awesome. Well, we got one more left, and that's. Um, that's power. Yeah. Look at power. Now, uh, for me, I would look at that as that explosive power yeah. out of the blocks, but also like that, you know, combining it with the agility and coordination. Ten. Yeah. Ten. So we've got an eight, a ten, ten, ten. Yeah. Because <sighs> your explosiveness out of the blocks is completely different because your blocks require a lot of skill to be able to utilize explosive power. We did a box jump, which takes a relatively low amount of skill and you picked it up right away. It was your first time doing it and relative to my height, you basically got what I got. And I've been doing box jump for five months now. So and your was, explosive power was ridiculous. Straight out of the box, yep. pun intended. Yeah. On that sure. one, well, yeah. out of those five areas, we've got an eight. If we have five, let's multiply everything by two. As my, I get that like a 96%. Why not? Yeah. Well, I've got to, I got to, I got to ask you then based yeah. on that, we've come into this with, if I were to come from my background mm -hmm. and enter into the world of, you know, let's call it sprinting, mm -hmm. given appropriate training, I'm going to ask you, would you give me a pass or a fail as to would I have it, what it takes to become, maybe not a world-class sprinter, but you know, a professional sprinter given the right training? Uh, pass. A pass. pass. Yeah, definitely. John, I'm going to shake my hand there. Leo, all the best. Good luck to you. And uh, before we end this show, this has been an amazing facility here. Just tell me a little bit more about where we're based and where all of our viewers can go and find out more about what happens here. Okay, um, we are the Academy of Speed. We're located in Rancho Cucamonga, Inland Empire. We have a 37,000 square foot building, 60 meters straight away, uh, 150 meter uh, oval. Um, we train little kids up to um, Olympic hopefuls and uh, we, we do very well from, from volleyball, to baseball, football, all that for speed, power, and agility. So yeah. all top form athletes yeah. come yeah. and they train in your facility. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I am I am honored to be able to come here today with Muscle and Fitness. And uh, guys, that pretty much rounds off an amazing show. It's a 96% score. I don't see how I'm going to get much higher than this, certainly with the uh, the rest of the year ahead of me. But um, you know where to go. Check out the uh, Muscle and Fitness UK magazine. You can see the full feature in there. And I'll be back next time to try my hand at a different sport somewhere else in the world. And as always, you can find me on Twitter and keep up to date with all my daily activities, training, and nutrition. So until the next Ultimate Sports Challenge, I'm Rob Richards. This is Muscle and Fitness. And as the slogan says up there, the only one who can beat me is me. See you later.